Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from Inter Payroll. And today we're going to look at using GPG to create public and private keys. Now why do we need these keys? Well, we need the private key to allow you to encrypt your emails and attachments. And we need the public key to allow Inter Payroll to then decrypt those emails and attachments. So in summary, the public key is for you to use to encrypt your data and then send your emails. Into payroll will then receive your email and then use your public key to decrypt it. So let's get started. We're going to go ahead and open up GPA, which I have an icon of on my desktop. and you should be presented with this box here. Now before we go any further I highly recommend you create a new folder somewhere on your computer which is safe and you're not going to accidentally delete. Now I would recommend you name this folder something along the lines of maybe Inter Payroll Encryption Keys something so you know it's important and you won't delete it. So back to this window here and we're going to click on keys and then new key and we're presented with this box. Here we're asked to enter our name. Now we recommend you use your company name and for the sake of this tutorial we'll say our company is called um, a1 services. And we'll click forward. Now it's going to ask us for our email address. Now this is extremely important because you need to enter the email address you will be using to send into payroll your confidential and sensitive emails and attachments. Now for A1 services we'll say it's accounts at a1services.com and we'll click on forward. Now it will ask us if we'd like to create a backup copy. We'll make sure the first option is ticked because we do. If you do lose your private key in the future then it's impossible to get another copy so we do want to uh, create a backup copy just in case so we'll make sure the first one's ticked and we'll click on forward now it will ask us for a passphrase a passphrase is ultimately a password and you will be prompted to enter this every time you want to sign or encrypt an attachment or email so keep it secure so use uppercase as well as lowercase letters and also use numbers um, but do please make a, a note of it or tell uh, a member of staff in case if you feel you will forget it um, right we will use Windows 1 and you'll see here a quality bar that bar will tell you how secure your password is or how hard to break so the closer to 100 the better so we will say Windows 1 2 3 and that's 100 that's fine OK and we'll be asked to enter it again OK now this can now take a while it is now generating our private key for us it will ask us where we want to save it we'll go to our inter payroll encryption keys and we'll click on save click on close and now sometimes GPA can stop working at this point Let's click on close program it's fine nothing has been uh, nothing has gone wrong um, it's just a bug with uh, the software um, but it's not dangerous in any way whatsoever to your computer. Now if we open up Inter Payroll encryption keys um, then we will see our backup copy here and it's named secret key. So now we have our key, um, our private key. We now want to go ahead 
and create our public key so that we can send in to payroll our public key. Now to do that we'll go back into GPA and you see A1 services now appears in the box and you can see uh, all your data here. Now we're going to select A1 services and click on export. We're going to browse to our encryption keys folder and we're going to name this something. Um, we will name it A1 services underscore inter payroll and we'll click on save. And as you can see that's now been completed. We click on close and we can now close this box. If we now go to our encryption folder you'll now see two keys. Secret key is your private key and we highly recommend you do not share this key with anyone. The A1 services key, that is now our public key. This is the key you need to email to enter payroll and the email address you need to send it to is accounts at interpayroll.co.uk and this key will allow us to decrypt all your encrypted emails and attachments. Well, that's it for today. There are more tutorials available on our blog at interpayroll.co.uk forward slash blog.